Hey guys, it's Miraline, Delicious Delights. Welcome to my channel. So I have another unboxing for you guys. I have a very exciting perfume in this box here. This is a new release from the house of Narciso Rodriguez. It's their new uh, For Her Musk Noir. Scent of the day. I am wearing Fils de Dieu again by Etat Libre d'Orange. It's like becoming like one that I reach for so, so much lately. I love it so much. Okay, so there are some samples in here as well. So I'll just maybe show you guys that too. We have a thank you for your purchase thing here. Some air bubble stuff. All right. <laughs> so, oh, they gave a free sheet mask. Uh, Origins Floral Fusion Violet Sheet Mask Nourishing Sheet Mask. Give that a try. Then they gave some samples. We have Tom Ford Bitter Peach. I haven't tried this one yet. It's one of their newest releases from this house, but I haven't had a chance to try it yet, so I'm really excited about that. Tom Ford Noir de Noir. Not a new release, but one that I want to rediscover. Then we have Tom Ford Two Brews New. This is the newest release form from their private blend collection in that um, white bottle. Then we have Armani Privé Tae Yulong. This one I tried briefly in the store when it was first released, but I wasn't able to test it properly. So yeah, I will definitely be reviewing this because I'm really into the tea scents lately. Then we have Sir Chouton's Fi en Agui. <laughs> I'm probably butchering that one. This one, I used to own this perfume a long time ago. For some reason, I let it go. I don't know what I was thinking, but ever since I let it go, I've been kind of regretting it and hoping that I can get my nose on it again. Um, so I have a sample of it just to remind my nose of how beautiful it was. And then we have Tom Ford Rose Prick. Another one of their newer perfumes in that uh, nice pink bottle, um, but I haven't had a chance to try that one yet either. Oops, sorry. <laughs> All right, so let's get into the unboxing finally of Narciso Rodriguez Musk Noir for her. This is a 30 ml bottle. I don't really need anything bigger than a 30 ml. Actually, if they sold them in even smaller sizes, like a 20 ml, I'd probably be okay with that because I just have so much, so many perfumes to go through. Uh, but I really like when companies offer smaller sizes. Let's get this open. I'm so excited about this. Oh my gosh. Let's see here. So here's what the box looks like, very simplistic. There's some text in the back here, I'll just read it out quickly. The for her signature heart of musk is enveloped in an accord of plum, heliotrope and leather notes, creating a mysteriously evocative fragrance. So yeah, the notes in the top are plum, middle notes musk and heliotrope and base notes is suede. So let's get this one open here. All right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so look at how gorgeous this bottle is. So it's the same design as the other for her perfumes. Um, but finally we have a transparent bottle where the other ones, I'm just gonna grab another one, just give me a sec. All right, so the other ones, like of the For Her line, these are my two favorites, the Lab Salou For Her and the Narciso Rodriguez Low For Her. Uh, they're opaque, so you cannot see how much is in here, which is kind of, well, it looks nice but to look at, but it's kind of annoying that you can't see how much is in there unless you, I guess, shine a light on it somehow. But now they came out with a transparent bottle here. 
which is super, super nice. I love that. <laughs> okay, so let's do finally my very first sniff of Narciso Rodriguez Musk Noir for her. Very nice spray. Wow, okay. <laughs> My gosh okay so just as I thought that I would like this smelling it for the first time I could say that I already like it <laughs> so what do I get here it's a very soft and subtle fragrance just smelling it on the paper strip here it doesn't feel like it's a very strong perfume it's very soft subdued Musky for sure. Wow, I get some sweetness in here. And wow, it's such a soft textured fragrance. It's making me feel like running my hand over suede leather, like literally doing that. Maybe that's kind of weird, but I used to work at a leather retail store many, many, many years ago. That feeling of touching suede leather Reminds me of this. I'm gonna put this on my skin actually. Yeah, very soft, sweet. It doesn't remind me of plum right away, but I am getting a very light and airy and fluffy kind of sweetness in here. Also, I find the musk in here so far to be fluffy and airy and light as well. The bottle is transparent, yes, but when I smell this, it also has like a transparent feeling to it too. It's not thick at all. Uh, the Lab Salu, for example, is very heavy and thick and dark. This one has a dark feeling to it, but it, it doesn't have like that heavy thickness of the Lab Salu or the original For Her or the Fleur Musk or any of those other For Her perfumes. This really truly does feel like a light version of Musk, a light version of, of, of a leather scent, that smooth suede feeling. Very classy and elegant and subdued transparent light and very very nice <laughs> so yes so far i do like the perfume it's super light though <laughs> i'm very very surprised by that because usually when when it comes to narciso rodriguez perfumes um they're very like intense and bold but this one is light almost like an eau de toilette um, so far you know just testing it for this this first time it reminds me of something lighter like an eau de toilette version of a narciso rodriguez perfume so those were my first thoughts of musk noir by narciso rodriguez i should also mention that i am getting a little bit of uh, a powderiness in here too but again, it's very, very, very light, <laughs> but very beautiful. It smells beautiful for sure. Okay, guys, so those were my thoughts of Musk Noir for Her by Narciso Rodriguez. If you've tried it, I know it's new still, and I don't know, I'm not sure if it's available everywhere yet, but if you have tried this, I would love to hear your opinion on it. Uh, do expect a full review on this. I'm going to be testing this uh, for the next while and I'll be back with a full review for sure. So stay tuned for that. Um, thank you guys so much for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care guys. Bye-bye.